Good day, fellow investors. As I said, I came down to the Niche Masters Fund Conference in Penang, Malaysia. And of course, one very important part of my visit is to actually see what's going on here. So I'm in Penang and you can see here down they are making one additional island where they will be built high risers like this. And then there is another one. I think they'll be adding about 3000 units and uh, if you turn around and you see that's what they are building so very very high skyscrapers and on the southern part of the island they are going to add another three artificial islands where they're going to build about 300,000 units so that's incredible but you see what Asia is there is a lot of people and they are growing they are buying these apartments investing Perhaps it's a bubble, perhaps it's not a bubble, there are risks, but the key is that we see, okay, how can we expose ourselves, our portfolio to the growth that's going on without risk? And that's what we are going to talk about in this channel. I have been talking about copper. You need a lot of copper to do all of this and what I've been ta talking about, to build the boats, to everything. So. There is a lot of lot of growing demand and even if, for, for example, you'll hear stories about, okay, this might be a bubble, it might not be a bubble, uh, some developers will go bad, some will not, but the copper won't go anything. For example, uh, the big businesses, the great businesses, the great services, the, I don't know, airlines or something like that will still do, still do business, do it somewhere else. So. That's something that I really want to discuss in a video and I'll prepare a special video on how to invest in the growth of Asia. I'm in Malaysia, 5% growth. India, we have seen 10% growth. China, 25 years for what, 10, 7%. And it's amazing the demand that is simply created. Try to find ways to expose ourselves to the long-term trends that are going on, that will be going on no matter what, no matter the trade war, no matter whatever, that we can take advantage of by looking at low risk, high reward investments as we do on this channel. So this is the first part. Let me go to the second part of the video. So how to get exposure to Asia? You have Apple, Tumi, all other brands that are all over all malls airports over Asia so that's also we have Adidas there whatever Swatch Gucci and if I walk around here there is it's it's more like Europe here than anywhere else in Europe so those are all brands all give exposure and that's also a way so if you hold a normal global brand you're also exposed to Asia so that's one way of being exposed to Asia and might be good might be expensive we'll see again it's always about finding the great businesses that are the best way to get exposure in the portfolio many other businesses will get exposure so stories about growth that you can hear in conference calls those might be interesting even if it's different and highly competitive speaking of Asia this is all very very nice big growth all around the place you have also normal old asian restaurants so it's a mixture or of great a mixture of new a mixture of old and the most important thing is there is growth everything looks very very nice people are great hard working the key is okay how can we get exposure to this and here you have one way corporations western eastern everything that's a way to get exposure you can get direct exposure you can buy real estate you can do a lot of things you can buy stocks here you can buy whatever is related to this so the key is and something we're going to really work on is how to position a portfolio so that it gets the best risk reward exposure as I said, the best risk reward exposure to stocks, to Asia, to the growth going on here. Because we are here at 5, 6, 7, 8, 10%. And 
the building is amazing they are really building 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 and building that's it for now we're going to go into the details find the best exposure and then it's all about finding the best businesses as always however the best businesses might actually not be asian companies but western companies that have exposure and of course at the right price so we'll see we'll work hard on it as always